much of painful as it is, we just go back to Saturday. It, it wasn't uh, a game we really expected to lose. I don't think that everyone was expecting you to come away with three points and almost guarantee safety. Yeah, it's obviously very, very, very disappointing. But we got to keep going. You know, we're we're just not in the bottom two. We're a point out of it. You know, it's it's in our hands basically. So we have to keep going and try and pick up points. I guess that's the positive thing. You, even though you you lost and you still have four games in which to, to put it right and, and to to achieve safety. Yeah, we. You know, I'm still very very confident that we that we'll be safe. You know, we'll be fine. We uh, we got Portsmouth on Saturday. You know, they they've won a couple recently. You know, but I said before, anyone can beat anyone in this league. You know, it showed Saturday. You know, Torquay have beat us. You know, I think rightly so. They deserve to. We we weren't good enough, but we also still have to play Wickham. They're they're a point behind us, you know. That's that's a massive game for us as well. And I believe Northampton play Wickham Friday night, so I'll keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Can you explain what went wrong on Saturday? You started off okay, but this seemed to tell off sort of after fifteen twenty minutes. Yeah, I think we started well. You know, uh, Beardos had a couple of headers, um, and we just we just didn't stay on it. You know, we got in half time nil nil, which which wasn't which was good. You know, we. I'd have taken that at the start when we just we didn't come out second half. You know, they got the first and maybe we started getting a little bit nervous and they then they got their second and then we started playing football again, you know, we we got one back but just We said frantic frantic last few minutes, you could have had a couple more, couldn't you really? That's it, you know, but that we need to be doing that for ninety minutes, not the last five minutes, you know. So Portsmouth to look forward to and a, and a big crowd. That that surely is a game you love, you want to be involved in. Yeah, I think at the start of the season that was the the first one that I was looking out for. You know, Portsmouth away. I think they'll be close to maybe seventeen thousand there on Saturday. You know, it's it's going to be fantastic for everyone to play in. You know, and hopefully we can get get some points. Yeah, and you could do you go down there in a positive move? You you have to, don't you? We have to. Yeah, you know, everyone knows the situation. You know, there's no shine away from it. We need we need points. We need we need wins it's it's as simple as that what what's the feeling in the dressing room do you, do you, does everyone feel that they perhaps let themselves and let the fans down on saturday yeah you know after every defeat players look at themselves and say could i have done better and i think from one of the 11 we could have done better on saturday so how do you now get yourselves up for this game the, the crowd would be a massive incentive um what will you do in the training this week um, it's up to the gaffer that we were doing training, you know, but we just got to come in and stay positive, you know, come in this morning and we're all having a laugh and a joke, you know, if if you can't do that, you know, then there's something wrong, you know, but I'm still positive that we can we can get out of this. Yeah. Uh, is, is, you're one of the more experienced players, you know, you've got your third season of football, is some of the younger lads, does the situation affect anyone at all? It affects everyone differently, you know, you have to you have to deal with it in your own way. That's it's all part of the job, you know. Every there's pressures in every single job, but as a footballer, it's it's a lot more out of pressure with the fans and that you know we uh, we deserve that on Saturday. I think you 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 could obviously hear it as you came off the pitch the the frustration of the supporters again. Yeah, it's frustration. You know, they pay they pay good money to come and watch us play, and when we lose, I think. The right to have a go, you know. I, I certainly would be having the go if it was me, but they got to stick with his nine. I'm sure they will. Yeah.